Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining, welcome. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and also or that you're on my Facebook groups because then you'll get notified when I will be going live. So welcome to Wednesdays. Wednesdays is usually when I do a mystery challenge. And when I do a mystery challenge, what I usually do is I give you three clues. Um, today we're going with four clues. And um, actually, I think there's an extra one in there. Um, but usually what happens when I do my mystery challenges is that I've got something else that I need to do with certain things that I go and I say to use. In any event, welcome. Um, the, the clues today are, you know what, I'm just going to go straight on down to my um, desktop here. So the clues today are no dies. So that means so that you can fussy cut and you can also use a punch. Now, um, the uh, clues are Granny Apple Green, Polish Pink, Crush Curry, and Bermuda Bay. Now, if anyone's in our stamp camp, this will be um, a, a start of something that they can do for a challenge. Um, basically, some of them I know have already put in for the challenge. Hello. Um, but this kind of... Um, these are beautiful colors together. They really, truly are. And at first I kind of struggled with this um, combination just because I I do have a, an aversion to some of the regal colors. And Crush Curry is not one that I use very often. But really, when you look at it, it looks beautiful with, with these colors. It really does. So in any event, we're going to make a card today. And it's going to be using these colors and no dyes. And that's the whole key to this whole challenge is you, but did you use dyes? This mystery challenge is no dyes. So that's just something that I've added a little bit to it. Um, I know we rely so much on our cut and emboss machine, um, but like I say, you could use this as well. All right. So let's use these colors. Now, I am going to use this Friendly Gnomes. Now, this, these Friendly Gnomes do have dyes with it, but there is no reason why you cannot use and fussy cut out as well. But I'm also going to use this decorative circle um, punch in order to um, cut some of the stuff out. So I have my Granny Apple Green base. And you'll see that I've got, I've got Bermuda Bay in here. But like I say, we're going to use this. I do have some basic white that I'm going to use for the card front. And I probably should have had a piece for the inside as well. And then um, this Bermuda Bay is from our designer series paper, which is the Brights um, designer series paper. That's going to go right here and I'm seeing that that's a little short so I'm actually going to come in and let me just quickly cut this piece down just to match so that my designer series paper is not um where it shows beyond so is this five and a quarter and see this was off by just a little bit so I'm just going to use that to cut that and then this should fit just right and if not we can trim that there we go much better so like I say I've got um, our granny apple green I've got a white base and I happen to have this from the designer series paper and I am going to turn around and I am going to use these polished pink colors in there as well actually this blog this post will be going live for a blog post on Saturday um, at midnight actually so tune in to there if you want to know the measurements and everything else. I will tell you what the measurements are here as well. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to use this decorative circle punch. And we're just going to cut that out just like that. And then I'm going to come in and I thought I would use this one here. She's, she's adorable. And I think I'm going to also use this spring is everywhere. That's my thought process at this point. So because I'm going to come in and I'm going to use mainly blends on this particular card, I'm going to use my Memento ink. And so let's go in with this particular one here. So I'm just going to go 
And I'm going to kind of put, I want it to go kind of behind the gnome. So I'm just going to have it come off to the side like this. And then I can have my gnome off to the other side. And then I also need my gnome. And I'm going to use memento because I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to use mainly my blends on here. Now we don't have a crushed curry blend. Hello. So, like I say, we use memento because it is a water base and our, our blends are an alcohol base. And that's why we, we mix those two colors together. So I'm not going to use the ink pads really per se today, but I am going to use possibly one of them. So let's go in and let's color using those colors. So I have polished pink. I have Bermuda Bay. I'm going to be using so saffron on the hair, and I'm also going to be using some of this granny apple green. So let's go ahead and just color this part very quickly. We're not going to be doing much shading with this um, because the images are so small. And I'm not even sure where my, my um, dark granny apple green went to. So we have that. And then we're also going to go in here and let's use the polished pink on the hat. These really, once you see these colors together, you go, wow, they really do go well together. So now this one also happens to be, like I say, it's going on my blog post at midnight on Saturday morning. But for those that are in the, like I say, the stamp camp, they do have these colors in the stamp camp. Now, if you want to go and add another one by using and also um, have the chance of, um, of winning a stamp set or some product, which did you see? I went and I announced the winners today again uh, for the mystery and the sketch challenge for the month of January. It took me so long to get that going. So when I go in with my blends, I color in circles when I want to just make that blend together so that you don't see any um, lines per se. Let's put that on there for now because we're going to be using those again. Now I'm going to come in and let's do her top with the Bermuda Bay, the light Bermuda Bay. We'll do the under part here with that too. Now, this is such a small area that I'm not even really gonna be doing much blending with the colors on here. And that's just because it's not gonna make that much of a difference really. And then I think what I'll do is I'll also come on here Let's use the darker Bermuda Bay. We can do the collar here as well. And then we'll also use our light so saffron. We're going to just base this. Now, the deal with um, if you have never used um, the blends, like I say, they are alcohol based. But the other part is, is that um, you want to saturate the paper if you're going to be doing any blending or um, marking with it. So this is a dark so saffron. It doesn't make much of a difference. But I'm going to come in and Stampin' Up! has marked already where the colors are that shade it so I'm just going to come back in and like I said before we're just going to go in and blend it by going in circles is the way to do it hello the blendables well they used to be called blendables they're now called stamping blends no they're not refillable 
And I really wish that you could buy them individually. Now you you can buy them in color groups. You cannot buy them individually. I think us as um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators are trying to get that to come back because we used to be able to buy them individual. I use my light way more than I use my dark. But you know what? I'm finding that it's really helping it. But yeah, no, they're they're not refillable, unfortunately. But they do match the Stampin' Up! colors, that's for sure. Okay, and now we're going to have hot pink shoes. I think I had hot pink shoes when I was younger. No, I had red shoes. I had purple shoes. And then we can just go in with our dark. And this is the polished pink. I love the fact that it goes with our um, with our stamping colors. Now, what I always usually do is I turn around and I always um, put uh, the light pool party as I go around and I always, I'm going to be cutting this out. So now, like I say, this does come with the dies that we did have at Christmas time, but this is such an easy image to cut out. And plus this challenge said no die cuts. Okay. So that's how it's going to go. Now, I still have not used the color Crush Curry. We do not have any stamping blends. Your son just bought bubble gum pink Nike runners. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so I we don't have um, crushed curry, so I am going to just use um, the crushed curry marker. And we're going to go in here and also mark, do the crushed curry markers. So there I've incorporated the four colors. Bubble gum Nikes, oh my goodness. Here we go. And we'll just go a little bit darker on the inside there. And now we can just come in with our snips. Paper snips. And we're just going to quickly fussy cut this. I do not go to the ends and I move my paper. I do not move the scissors. So we just cut this out so I don't have to. So it doesn't, whoops, ooh, we almost ripped that all off. And like I say, um, you'll get used to fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is actually a great thing to do because you can cut anything out. But you can see how I've used these colors. Now, I guess I suppose I could have colored her hair too, but I find with the markers, they don't color as well over larger areas. So then this is just going to go here. So let's go ahead and start on this card. Now, let's see. Let's just put this on here. always find with a color challenge you tend to go a little bit easier on the designs. Hello. Just watching. Okay so like I say this is from the Bermuda, um, this is from the Brights designer series paper. It's a six by six. These are the ones that are actually going to be retiring this designer series pack. This is going to be retiring uh, for the new annual catalog. Let's just put that up just, I don't want it up too high. And I'm just gonna put these petal pink 
we're just going to go here but i want to make sure that this is covered up by this so let's go like that and you might have figured out by now that this is also part of a sketch not my sketch challenge it's part of a sketch that i was in for another group like i say this whole this blog is going to be going live on there we go. whoops oop want to do that and this is just going to go on with um dimensionals and so is So no ribbon on this. This is a pretty simple card. This is more of a card for a casual stamper. And that's why it's so good to um, try to work without your um, dies. Just like this. And let's go ahead and put our little gnome on there as well. She's adorable. I love those colors together. And when you do a color challenge, one thing that you you have to you can think of is that you do not have to use large amounts or equal amounts of a lot of them. Like you can see, I use the um, crushed curry in such a small amount. Now, what we want to do now too is to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. Now, this is Spring is Everywhere. Hmm. There's no one better than you. Gnome, sweet gnome, love you. Wishing you the most magical of birthdays. Let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking, because this is kind of, it's a busy type um, card there. Let's go ahead and go Spring is everywhere. I should have that out. I do. And I'm going to stamp this with Bermuda Bay. Let's just go and stamp this right there. And now what I can do is I can... I'm going to just sort of cut this out. Um, my thought process was to actually cut the words. I don't know how that would work. Um, cut the words individually. But I think I'll just, that is really crooked. Let's go ahead and put that there. We'll pop that up. Okay, dimensionals again. This is such a cute um, stamp set. Like I say, um, it goes along like the same sort of idea as um, the gnome one that we had at Christmas time. I have an idea what to do with that one. This one could have been used for Valentine's Day as well. Let's go right about there. Do I want it right about there? No, we're going to put it down there. And then we have these sequin back gems. Now I can go ahead. Maybe I'll use the pinky ones. This is definitely more for a girl, right? Let's see, do we want to put some more on there? there let's do that and put this one more in there. That works better. Okay, and I should be decorating the inside of the card as well. 
So I could take any of these things. I could put the toadstool, but I need some white, which I didn't bring with me. But this sort of satisfies the challenge that um, I had to do with the granny apple green, polished pink, Bermuda Bay, and crushed curry in there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see if we have any questions here. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Um, remember, it, with Pam says she practices the fussy cutting. Trust me, an awful lot of my people didn't really like fussy cutting to begin with, but you get to the point you really do like it. it it's really kind of one of those things that makes it really easy. All right, so tomorrow night I will be live at 6.30 Pacific time. We will be doing um, something from our, um, probably something new that I'm going to show you how to use. I've got something that's um, already cut out, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, let's see, Saturday, um, I may be doing my sketch probably on the Sunday because of a stamp camp. Um, but uh, I'll keep you posted on that particular one. It just it just remembers. It just re depends um, because when I usually go live for my sketch challenge, it's also a time that in the stamp camp that somebody is doing a live presentation. So I probably will go on Sunday I'm on Sunday at 10 o'clock, the regular time. Remember, if you like this, give me the thumbs up. Remember to share my video. I really do appreciate that. And if you do live in Canada, um, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Um, if you have any questions at all about any of uh, the stuff that I do, just reach out uh, to me. If you have any ideas for techniques or um, for things that you want to know how to use in your um, in your stamp room, I would love to. Um, I'd love to help you. In any event, you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.